Responders and medical personnel from North Texas heading to the coast to help with hurricane rescue and relief. Saul Gars is live at the Red Cross in Arlington with more. Saul? Uh, good morning, and you guys, this uh, Red Cross warehouse is huge. We're talking 300,000 square feet of uh, supplies needed uh, during a disaster. So right now what's happening is they, they are loading uh, pallet after pallet of these supplies onto 18 wheelers. Uh, three of, the, of these uh, trailers left yesterday, six more uh, leaving this morning. Joining us this morning here is uh, Dan Halliburton with the American Red Cross. Yeah, tell us like, what exactly inside of those uh, pallets because you all pretty much have thought of everything and anything. I mean, you have to. It's an amazing ballet of support for a lot, a lot of people who are going to need help. They're loading up these tractor trailers primarily today with sheltering supplies. We know shelters are really going to be critical in the early moments of the storm. So it takes a lot of material to support a lot of people. We, when we send out a shelter kit, a shelter kit will fill one of these tractor trailers. It'll serve 816 people. So each trailer each trailer. So if we're going to serve thousands of people, which we will, we're going to need a lot of trucks loaded up and they'll be headed south. So six of these will go out today. We've already got supplies pre-positioned in the Gulf Coast area. And right now, yeah, you don't know exactly where you're going because obviously the storm hasn't passed, so you're just on standby. We are on standby and it's kind of an art and a science, kind of predicting where things are going to be needed, what's going to be needed, and the uh, the things that you're seeing right now are actually the cameras. That's where they put hot food in, as because we got to feed people. So we're working with our partners in the region to actually cook, prepare, and serve food. And then, of course, it, you know you've got to clean up afterwards after the storm passes. I mean, that's another thing that you have to uh, you know consider in some of the things that you all uh, provide. Right, you got to have the cleanup supplies. Uh, you see it everywhere. Unfortunately, is the blue tarps. Uh, we've got rakes, shovels, cleanup supplies, mops, brooms, gloves, and trash bags. You know, you don't, you think it's something simple like a trash bag, but you've got you can use it for so many things, from a raincoat to uh, to trash, or maybe taking the only things that have survived the disaster from your home. All right, thank you for uh, taking time. I know you're going to be busy the next uh, couple of weeks, Dan. Thank you so much for joining us. And by the way, uh, first responders, uh, medical staff, uh, they left uh, yesterday. Task Force Two, uh, you know, they're taking with them, you know. All kinds of equipment as well. Uh, shelters in place also here in North Texas ready to respond as well. So uh, Tim and Lauren, uh, North uh, North Texas uh, ready to lend a helping hand to our neighbors uh, to the south. Back to you guys. All right, that's what we do. Thanks, Saul. The state has military forces staged and ready to go into hard hit areas. Governor Greg Abbott mobilizing 700 Army and Air National Guard troops. That includes the crews of Black Hawk helicopters. Those helicopters are on standby in Austin and San Antonio and will head where they are needed. Military aircraft from the Corpus Christi area were flown to Fort Worth to ride out the storm. The Navy training aircraft are now parked at the Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base and at Alliance Airport. The Fort Worth base is designated to accommodate aircraft from all of the military branches. Governor Abbott says he's been promised help from the feds in the aftermath of the hurricane. He's already spoken with the president and the head of FEMA. Abbott will update us today in anticipation of Harvey making landfall tonight, early tomorrow. And the governor's already issued a disaster declaration for more than two dozen coastal counties.